everyone, it's Michelle with Stamping with Michelle. I am here with another Learn to Stamp video. Today I'm going to show you how to do this card with a partial die cut. It creates a really neat 3D effect. I first saw this on Lisa Curcio's blog. So let's go ahead and get started. I am working with a piece of Blushing Bride cardstock and I'm doing it tent style. So this was a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock that I am then just have folded in half. I'm using the new hand penned petals stamp set and I'm going to ink up my flower image here and I'm going to stamp this on the right hand side kind of towards the top doesn't matter exactly where it goes like that next I'm going to bring in a piece of Blushing Bride cardstock. It has been layered onto uh, basic white cardstock. And I'm going to figure out where I want that to go. And I'm just going to kind of hold it in place here. And then I'm going to bring in my die. And I'm going to position the die so that I can see where the outline of the flower is going to be. And then this part is going to get cut out of this piece here. So I have some little post-it notes and I'm going to use my post-it notes to hold this die right in place. You could use washi tape, you could use any kind of removable adhesive. And I'm just checking every step of the way to make sure that that is exactly where I want it to be because that is kind of the critical part. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go run it through my Stampin' Emboss cut machine and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, I do want to mention that I ran this through my embossing machine twice, so backwards and forwards. And then I, before I take it apart, I just want to flip it over and make sure that it is fully cut. It is, this was going through two layers of cardstock. So I don't like to be absolutely certain that it has gotten everything that it needs to get. We're going to pull these off and then I can take the die right out and I'm actually going to just pull that little piece off. All right now if I position this it should line and it does line right up just like that. All right I like to double check that before I proceed. Next I have a strip here of the hand pen design a series paper and we are going to attach this to the left side of the card all the way over. I'm going to bring my die cut piece back in and I have a piece of scrap paper here that I want to work on. And I'm going to stamp the little flowers and I'm stamping them in Blushing Bride and I actually want to stamp them on my scrap paper once. And then onto my cardstock. I want them to be a little bit lighter. I don't want them to overpower this piece here. So I'm just going to stamp these all over. I'm kind of trying to avoid the edges because I don't want any on the white. There, like that. Next, we are going to bring in our Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to apply these. I also should have mentioned at the beginning that I, when I attached these two layers, the Blushing Bride and the Whisper White together, I was fairly generous with the adhesive. Um, I went like across all the way, like five or six times. You want to make sure that that's got a good bond because you do have these layers that are now getting cut. All right, so let's take off all of these backs. Here. Oops, almost lost it. And ooh, I almost forgot. I wanted to add ribbon. So I'm using the metallic ribbon. On this card, I actually want it to be the non metallic side that is showing. So I'm just going to kind of lay that underneath so that way I can tie it. I should have tied it first, but this will work. 
All right, get that positioned like that. And now we'll tie this ribbon. You do need to get a little creative with this ribbon. I or creative maybe isn't the right word, but so see how I'm tying this and as I'm tying it, I now I have a non-metallic side and a metallic side. So I'm going to twist the non-metallic side, give it a little bit of a twist. And then when I fold this over, the knot is going to stay non-metallic. And then when I put this piece through, I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist again. And that is how I keep that mostly either metallic or non-metallic, whichever it is that I want it to be. So we can trim this like that. All right, this is coming together. I now have here somewhere a strip of Whisper White cardstock that I have cut at three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna bring in the new Elegant Tag Punch. This punch, you can actually punch either side and you can actually use this with varying widths um, to get different size tags. So I'm gonna use it with just a, a small narrow strip and I'm gonna put it in from the back and I'm just lining up where I want that to go. I'm gonna pull this in so you can see that. And we will give that a punch, make sure it's straight. And there we go, there is our completed punch. I have the You're Amazing from the Ornate Thanks stamp set, and that is gonna get stamped right across there. Now we're gonna use dimensionals again, and what I'm gonna do is I'm putting a single dimensional on the edge that's closer to the part that I've punched, and then I'm actually gonna use two dimensionals on the other side, because remember, this part was already popped up. So we're gonna put two of them to make it double high. Now that can go right there, and when you do, that is now gonna be perfectly straight across. And I'm gonna finish this card off with some of the opal rounds. I'm gonna take a little one and just stick it right in the edge there. I think I'll put another one right here. And let's take one of the bigger ones and put it up at the top. And there you go, there is your completed card. You can order any of these supplies by going to my website at www.michellebreton.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.